Hey living fam, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Who was watching this video? Watching this video um, online, I was saying to myself, so, yo, how come I've never done one of these videos on my channel before? And I'm definitely a hygienic type of woman, fresh breath, moisturized skin. That video inspired me to do this video um, where I talk to my subscribers about oral and hygiene health remember to subscribe to my youtube channel if you've not subscribed yet um if you're always watching and you've not subscribed hit that subscribe button leave me a comment thumbs up this video so the first thing i want to talk about is oral health and that's because i am passionate about overall hygiene health but i'm very very passionate about oral health this routine or my kind of routine or also for the men so all the men who watch watch my videos big up yourself leave me a comment and let me know what's up so oral health of course you know the standard brush your teeth use a mouthwash all of them things there eh? for me personally how I go about it I floss then I get my toothbrush I use a regular toothbrush I guess you can use whatever toothbrush you want toothbrush a toothbrush as long as it's soft and you know I mash up your gum then first thing I do is floss and I get those I have different floss so I have the floss that comes with that stick and you can just push it in between the teeth like a quick little clean up I also have the floss that it that has a string when I'm flossing and my dentist taught me this when I'm flossing I actually make a C and I go into each side around and around and I just don't go like this and I try to get all the way to like round here so as best as I can. A lot of space at the bottom here in my, my teeth or so. So I, I tend to I floss there as well. Cause even though it has space, it will still build up. And like I said, I go in with a C and uh yeah. One more thing that I normally do before I brush, I have these um crest whitening strip, you guys. Crest whitening strips. I use them um, from time to time um, they're pretty pricey but I normally get them on sale which is the best time to get them and uh, they are what make my teeth a lot whiter so I'm not at the stage where I can afford teeth whitening right now or I've never checked it out to be honest I use the crest whitening strip because it actually really really work so I'll put them on for 30 minutes sometime I'll do it most of the time I do it is when I wake up in the morning so you're supposed to use it before you brush in. so those are my teeth to be a lot whiter so when I see some my teeth is getting a little bit stainy I'll do like a couple of treatments back to back so I use it like maybe five times back to back in the week you don't wonder how my teeth are white yeah crest whitening strips the next thing I do then I go in and I brush my teeth so you're supposed to brush your teeth for no less than two minutes two minutes if you need to set a timer on your phone set the timer no less than two minutes zine for brush your teeth and make sure so when you brush your teeth you're going in circles Zine, i'm not a dentist i'm just telling you from my experience for me i like to get underneath the gum so i will brush up there no food my in there so i tend to brush up there so underneath the gum brush the tongue please don't forget to brush the tongue Make sure you get that gum, your speed, that tongue, your skull out because guess what? More time your breath kind of smell like, hmm, or your tongue. And we all know, right? And we can all smell or taste if your, if your breath is kind of getting... In addition to that, a couple years ago, I was watching this video and it spoke about a tongue scraper. So I bought a tongue scraper a couple years ago. I bought one for me, one for my husband. And, um scrape the tongue because I feel like whatever whatever the brush don't get the tongue scraper will definitely get so I believe that you should scrape the tongue don't scrape it to the cut because you can kind of cut the tongue if you scrape too hard like me I'll be like because uh, 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 uh. I don't want nothing on there because I want it to you know and your tongue should have some level of pink in there like if you have a coat of white on the tongue unless you are eating whatever but once you cleanse your mouth your tongue should have a little bit of pink in there all right after that i go in with my trusty therabreath mouthwash but i guess you can use your regular mouthwash but i use my therabreath mouthwash because my therabreath mouthwash 
don't make me wake up with morning breath. And it keeps my breath fresh throughout the entire day. And you guys hear me talk about it in my vlog. Like, when you wake up, no morning breath. <laughs> Unless you have halitosis or something, or you have one serious, like, you wake up and you maybe you did eat some onion and some garlic and them something there from the night before you wake up and you can still smell it coming up from the digestive system. Yeah, but for me, the third bit work for me in the morning. I've had a couple of people who tell me that, yo, them buy the third bread by my recommendation. So yeah, big up third bread. I'll link everything that I can in the description box so you can check it if you're interested. So that's basically my oral routine every day. And I try to brush my teeth at least three times a day. If I brush my teeth to go to the gym and I come back home, have breakfast, I'll brush my teeth again before I leave out to head out on the road. Just to make sure, say, you know, I have some freshness I go on there, so. Okay, next up, shower routine. Hygiene, you know what I mean? Moisturized skin, the whole work. For me, shower routine, so I work out four to five times a week, hop into the shower, I have a wash rag. Zine, people will say wash that rags are so unsanitary. What may I gonna do? I'd much rather to wash my body with a wash rag. People will probably say this is excessive, but I love like the Jergen soap them, the mild one, the one that have a little bit of scent, but not too overpowering or everything. It just smell nice and mild. So I'm a Jergen soap type of girl. I'll wash my entire body first with the Jergen's soap. Just make sure that me wash off everything. Personally, I use Jergens down there as well because it's mild. So, them say I must use, but I don't have a problem. I've never experienced like an issue with using Jergens soap down there. If you're a thick girl, you want to part everything, and you want to separate, and you want to clean. And if you have, if you're one of those women who have hooded, you know what I mean. You need to pull it back and all of those things and clear out those little areas. Um, so you want to do that like ensure so you like you actually get in there because anyhow you left nothing untouched, you're gonna smell. So you have to make sure say you wipe it out, you wash it out, clean it out, yeah, until you don't see nothing at all there except just a gorgeous vagina <laughs> that you're looking at. Um, and also you want to get in between the butt as well, the butt crack, make sure you see a scour the butt crack. I'm not telling us on the muscles so scour and rip out because you know that those little areas are very sensitive and they can tear so just be gentle as you can but make sure so you wash it. Ladies, if you have big butt, spread the butt and get up in there. <laughs> So after I do that, I wash my legs because black people wash their legs. So you scour the legs, you wash the legs, be out in between the toes, the heel. I tend to have like, I have a callus thing in my shower that from time to time I use it and scrub the heels and the big toe because you know the callus will come up on the big toe and stuff. So you don't want to forget those places when you wash your body. Rinse off under the shower. Next thing I'll do is I'll go in with my body wash. Now it's a fragrant body wash. I'll also put it on. You can also use a loofah if you want. No, I'll either put away the rag for this step and then I'll go in with my mittens. You know those exfoliating mittens that you're going, I'm, I was recently introduced to the mittens. I prefer them over the loofah. Um, put them on on my hand, apply my fragrant um, body wash and I'll go in and I'll scour and I'll scrub and I'll pass it over my body and where where the rag probably did not like exfoliate and stuff it will exfoliate so my legs are going my legs are going with my my butt cheeks are going in between the toes the heels the ankles all of those places so I love the feeling personally I love the feeling of using that the mitten and men like I said you can do this too like exfoliate your skin. Sometimes I'll also go in with like Epsom salt. I have some lavender Epsom salt and I'll mix it with a little bit of um, the body wash together and just go in and it just melts on the skin. Um, makes my skin feel so, so soft and smooth. If you don't have like an exfoliator, I know you can go in with the body scrubs. I don't have a much body scrubs. I recently got the, um, I think it's Bum Bum um, body scrub or something like that. And I use it, smell really, really good. I need to start investing in more 
um, body scrub but because I use the mitten I feel like that's fine for me it's exfoliates and it do everything that it says it's gonna do so I don't have no problem with that so I rinse off after doing all of that smelling all good all great and please don't forget to get these places behind the knees and those places as well because you'd be surprised that those places kind of sweat but of course I'm one of those people who dry off first with a rag so me dry off my body with the rag and then um, wring out the rag and not one of those people who dries with a towel fresh out of I, I just can't do it I have to get the excess water off of my body first before I even touch the towel so I get the towel um, of course in the process of drying off my body with the rag I'm going in again into the crevices thick girls you know what I'm talking about like in that little sweaty area between your, your thigh and your vagina there so you want to dry it out I also go back into my vagina part the creases and the same thing with my butt crack dry it out whatever then I'll go in with the towel and I'll pat dry. I'll pat dry, make sure say yo man I have no leftover water on my body that might sit there and cause you to kind of smell kind of sour eventually at the day. Yeah, so I like to be extremely dry. I'm going with my Nivea lotion because I'm the only lotion I tend to use. Um, somebody can introduce me to another like lotion or body scrub or not body scrub body butter or something that way smell and make me feel amazing like when we look on my skin it actually looks sheeny and all of that but the Nivea lotion does that for me so I go in with my Nivea lotion and I lotion everywhere my husband said my waist lotion because me lotion everywhere I ensure that everywhere is moisturized because with put taking out all of that scrubbing and all of that washing and stuff you need to put back the moisture back into your body so i'll go in with my lotion and then after going in with my lotion i will go in with my almond oil i bought some cold pressed almond oil on ebay some time ago i'm sure you can probably find it on amazon and i'll go in and i'll moisturize because i like when my body have that sheeny look that that looks very moisturized when you look on my legs you can tell that i'm very moisturized so I'll go in with that and then after I do that, that's when I will spray my perfume on. So if I'm going to bed, I'll use like body splash or something really light. I'll use something really light, not overpowering. My per my go-to perfume for sleeping is the uh, Seven Virtue, the vanilla scent. Um, and it helps you to sleep. It's like a clean beauty type of scent. So I'll go in with all my pulse points and behind my knees and stuff um, for bed. Otherwise, I'll use a body spray or something um, to go to bed. Me, I'll also add my deodorant. One thing that I've been doing, which um, Zari had put me on to this um, some time ago, I've been using the, cause I'm, I've been using natural deodorant for about three years now. I started before the pandemic, a little bit before the pandemic, so yeah. So I haven't been using antiperspirant for about three years now. And so um, Zari, not too long ago, I had bought this natural deodorant, but I'm kind of sensitive to baking soda. So it caused my arms to like really, really burn up and it was completely black. Some time ago, Zari told me about um, glycolic, glycolic acid. That's the ordinary brand. And she was telling me about it and she said she has not been using deodorant. So I bought it, which I had it before and I throw it away. Um, so I bought it recently, um, like, like not recently, like maybe six to eight months ago. And I put it in a spray bottle and that's what I've been doing. And you guys, my underarms is so light. So if you want to lighten your underarms, and like if you have any black, dark spots or dark places on your body that you want to, I highly recommend using glycolic acid. You can actually use it on like a little, um, what you call it like swab um you know the same one that you can use to like remove your makeup and stuff and wipe it under there for me i prefer spraying it under there because i have a spray bottle so i'll spray it under there a couple times and leave it and when i tell you that you'll not smell for the entire day um but i like to have a little bit of fragrance underneath my arms so i'll go in with my arm and hammer i think it's arm and hammer and i'll go in after that but i wait until i'm dry first before i use it um also one tip is to 
walk with your deodorant. If you're on, um, if you're use natural deodorants or stuff, for me, per for peace of mind of not smelling, I have to walk with my deodorant. So I tend to walk with my deodorant in my bag. I have one in my bag, one in my gym, um, <laughs> one at home at the house. So that's how I tend to do it. I ensure because I'm very, very self-conscious when it comes on to. And um, I guess finally, is after doing all of those moisturizing and stuff, and if you want your perfume to last, moisturizing is what does it. So if you moisturize the skin and then spray it onto your body and stuff, your perfume will last if you moisturize properly. Also, a panty liner type of gal, where I have to line my underwear with uh, a panty liner just to make sure down there is fresh and stays dry and stuff like that. I'll get the thong suited type of panty liner if I can find them. I haven't been able to find them recently. You know, shaving. Can we talk about shaving? Shaving is so, so important. For women as well, make sure so you're shaving. Men too, men need to shave shave down there if you're having an issue with yeast infection and all of those things you might want to consider shaving down there getting rid of the hair a lot of it from down there cut and pave the way so it will smell fresh lasting throughout the entire day because a lot of people sweat down there right so if you want to smell fresh all the time get rid of the, a lot of the hair and i'm telling you that it is it's a game changer it will change your life so if you have excess excess sweating down there you want to make sure it's a shave down there all right can't say i never tell you this that's pretty much my routine this was a long long chat of a routine but that's basically my routine and i ex and i encourage you guys to take good care of yourself i feel like Having a good hygiene routine is also a sign of self-love and if you love yourself, you'll take care of yourself and for me, those are the things that kind of bring me joy like making sure I smell good, making sure I look good and if you look good, you feel good, right? And in this case, you want to feel good, right? So those are the things that helps you to feel good or to feel a lot more confident about yourself when you actually put in like some form of work or you put in some form of effort into, you know, yourself and stuff like that. So highly recommend having a routine, a skincare routine. And also let me know in the comments if you guys would like me to walk you through an actual skincare routine. You can let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know some of the products that you currently use in your hygiene and your, your hygiene routine and stuff that I might can add to my routine and stuff. Please leave that comment for me down in the comment section. And I'll link as much uh, things as possible as I can in my description box for everything I talked about. Thank you guys for watching this video. Until next time, living fam, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.